Good morning, afternoon or evening, ladies and gentlemen, all in crypto here and welcome back guys. What is going to be nothing short of another jam-packed daily market update with yours truly. You would have of course noticed that we are not at the office today. I'm at home. I'm looking to try and kind of take as much of Saturday off as possible, but I'm still committed to bringing you the latest and greatest things happening within the cryptocurrency space and the broader markets every single day. So you've got a daily market update from me from home in this one. And a few weeks ago, and consistently, we've really been highlighting the ramifications of central bank monetary policy um, and how that affects the currency markets and thus how that affects risk assets. So, and I'll pull up on the screen now, when you look at global liquidity cycles, it very much aligns with business cycles, the Bitcoin four-year cycle, election cycles, and what global liquidity and all these cycles are predicting is that there's a great time ahead for markets generally. Uh, and certainly they're technically positioned in that manner. And certainly in regards to global liquidity, one of the biggest drivers of that or the main driver of that is going to be monetary policy, how that affects the dollar, which is the world reserve currency. Um, and what we are now expecting and what Jerome Powell did in yesterday's Jackson Hole speech was give markets confirmation that the Dixie is uh, about to weaken, the dollar is about to weaken, which means that risk markets are about to do very well. And it's my belief that whether you're into crypto or not, you should be, certainly if you're into investing, because it offers or is going to offer the greatest ROI return on investment of uh, all asset classes. There are, of course, risks. Volatility is a major one that most people can't stomach. And I'm sure many of you have been feeling that uh, recently, certainly in the altcoin market. But there's an amazing time ahead, ladies and gentlemen. The stage is very much set. And Jerome Powell yesterday, which is why we got the price action that we did, I think Bitcoin up something like 6% on the back end of that speech, uh, probably more today. Um, obviously, being the highest beta risk asset, you saw the Dixie collapse, just like predictive. Um, but we're really going to be talking about all that in this video uh, and really sort of cementing our big macro reason for being bullish on the markets. And then certainly when we look technically at where Bitcoin is, where the altcoin market is, you know, the stars kind of align. And we use this saying, which I'm sure is rather annoying, that when it walks, talks and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. But the reason we do that is kind of deliberately to uh, invoke some sort of an emotion to help people uh, remember it. So, Let's dive into, first of all, what Jerome Powell actually said yesterday, which of course is significant. We'll be bringing up the uh, yen currency. Obviously, a couple of Mondays ago, we had the unwinding, a real turbulent time for the markets. The VIX spiked to the highest level since, you know, obviously the pandemic or before that, 2008. Um, and that was on the back end of the Bank of Japan upping their interest rate, thus strengthening their currency. We'll be showing you the Nikkei which is Japanese or the, 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 the Japanese uh, index. And really what that highlights is the effects that central banks have on a currency and how that affects the markets through strengthening their currency. It makes sense, right? If a currency is going up, it means people are going into it, which means they're typically coming out of risk. If it's going down, the, 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 the vice versa uh, thing kind of takes place. And we spoke about the yen in great detail uh, and how it was kind of the BOJ was kind of the financer of the world because they had 0% interest rates. And as they up that, you know, there's a kind of weight that gets put on that trade and people need to readjust. Uh, we'll be looking at the Dixie and, of course, relation to risk. We'll be looking at the Dixie direction. Not only do you have uh, the Dixie rolling, we're also looking at upside targets for the Euro USD, Great British Pound US dollar, and obviously JPY USD, I think, has largely bottomed. Um, and it's likely going to see some good upside. And then we're going to be looking at, uh, of course, um, Bitcoin on its own merit and maybe talking about things more broadly. But the, the, the stage really is set and Jerome Powell kind of confirmed all that yesterday. So without further ado, let's dive into this clip of Jerome Powell. We do not seek or welcome further cooling in labor market conditions. Overall, the, continue, the economy continues to grow at a solid pace but the inflation and labor market data show an evolving situation. The upside risks to inflation have diminished and the downside risks to employment have increased. As we highlighted in our last FOMC statement, we are attentive to the risks to both sides of our dual mandate. The time has come for policy to adjust. The direction of travel is clear and the timing and pace of rate cuts will depend on incoming data, the evolving outlook, and the balance of risks. 
we will do everything we can to support a strong labor market as we make further progress toward price stability. With an appropriate dialing back of policy restraint, there is good reason to think that the economy will get back to 2% inflation while maintaining a strong labor market. So really importantly for us, certainly in the crypto space, is Jerome Powell now talking uh, and pretty much solidifying a September rate cut. Um, to show you really using the uh, Nikkei and the Yen, why this is significant is because central banks are the great manipulators of liquidity. They cause and actually introduce volatility. Obviously, they came about in the name of uh, preventing that really are the great manipulators of liquidity and when we look at global liquidity upticking that's going to come on the back end of the dollar weakening through interest rate cuts which we know are coming now to really show you the effects of the adverse effects of what we think the fed and and, and, and europe and the, and, and um the uk are about to do uh, we can show you the nikkei which we've always said is a short yen trade and obviously the uh jpy the japanese yen now Nikkei up on the back end of a weak um, currency. So people go into it because it offers them a high return. And obviously with the strength, with kind of Monday's madness, the unwinding, we saw a real strengthening in the uh, Japanese yen. And ultimately that lent on, it meant that the Nikkei had the worst day ever. You're about to see the adversary of that. So what we've shown you here is the effects of a currency strengthening on the back end of monetary policy from their central bank and the effects that that has on their native market. You're about to see the adversary of that in regards to the um, stock, uh, in, in regards to the Fed and obviously the uh, other central banks. It's also very interesting that when you look at ETFs for housing, REITs and things like this, certainly offered by iShares, in the UK, they look amazing. In the US, they look amazing. And in the um, eurozone parts of the eurozone they also look really well this is a great sign that liquidity is coming through obviously housing which is a very interest rate sensitive marking along with small cap stocks you know the stage really is set and jerome powell gave kind of guidance on all of that if you look at and we've done this a million times but we'll do it once more when the markets bottomed it was when the dollar topped markets or, or, or the dixie came down markets went up dixie's continuing to roll and you can see the strength that we've got going on here now we believe ultimately uh that the Dixie is going to come to the lower band of this channel that we've been in since 2008. And we all know what happened in 2008. If you look at interest rates coming down, this is largely going to drive the dollar, which makes sense fundamentally, doesn't it? If you think about higher interest rates on a currency, that ultimately means there's more demand for it, lower interest rates, vice versa. Also, borrowing's cheaper, uh, which means people just borrow the money and move it into uh, assets. Um, we also have technical reason to not just based on the fact that we're in this channel and we think it's very logical that you're going to come to the lower band of it. Also, you had a pattern that's set up that's now triggered that is likely going to see the Dixie actually run to uh, 97.5. What's risk going to do in that environment? The best performing risk class is ultimately going to be crypto. This is why we've been bullish on gold, the stock market. Crypto is in an uptrend against these markets. It's very important to remember that. Certainly something like housing. You also have... Uh, and this has played out beautifully for us. And hopefully we're showing you guys the kind of um, reasons to be interested in markets technically because they nothing is 100% predicted, but they allow you to be able to predict the markets with a higher degree of accuracy than most. This is the Euro USD. I spoke about this with my patrons. Um, you are looking for upside on this. Great British Pound, you're also looking for upside with that downside target for the Dixie and the, the Yen. So I think the Yen has bottomed in this kind of falling wedge style pattern. I also think that you may want to set up um, a bit of a sort of head and shoulders here. I think that's quite likely and we're going to see the Yen continue to go higher. Um, ultimately putting further pressure on the, 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 the dollar. So dollar down, typically very good for risk markets. We've shown you this a million times. Certainly just Bitcoin on its own merit. Every single Bitcoin sort of rise and we see everybody talking about what we've been really speaking about for a hell of a long time now every time every bull market that's taken place it's always been on the back end of the dixie this is the dollar and bitcoin overlaid in a nice s p red unfortunately dollar down bitcoin up dollar down bitcoin up uh, dollar down bitcoin up you know it, it, it's a very sort of tether to thing and there's that saying out there in the markets if you can get the direction of the dixie right you can generally get the direction of uh, the markets more generally. So the, the Fed is going to be the main driver of liquidity. We know what they're about to do. Jerome Powell very much signaled that. When you look at Bitcoin, of course, on its own merit, you know, we still have our 151k 
target for Bitcoin. We were getting back into the markets down here. This has been a beautiful journey. We use like the market mastery course and things like that. There's currently 80% off that. Um, it will help you guys have a good technical understanding of the markets. I truly do believe in the method. Um, so right now, 80% off. It's the price of a, a, a lunch, uh, essentially. And I think that information will help you guys as you move forward. And also don't forget to become a Patreon, guys. Lots of alpha in there. We've got lots of altcoins we think are positioned in the right place, um, ready to capitalize on what's coming. We've even got some Bitcoin miners. We spoke about the Bitcoin mining opportunity that we think are going to do sort of altcoin-like returns. Uh, so do get in the Patreon if you can. Um, I don't think you'll regret it, but that's entirely up for you guys. So Bitcoin very much position the altcoin market position. All markets are pointing in the same direction, and it's because of the macro driver of things, which of course is the Fed. Central banks and how that affects currencies and thus the markets. So that is it from me, guys. Uh, a little bit more of an intricate Saturday video. Uh, I, I want to kind of take Saturdays off or as much as Saturday as possible. I'm going to go do some fishing for the rest of the day. Um, rather a wholesome, naturalistic thing in an ever-digital world. Um, but yeah, that's it from me, guys. We've got amazing times ahead of us. The markets are very much positioned. We're going to be bringing you lots of altcoins and showing you technically why they're in really good sort of states. We'll bring one out today. We'll be, we'll be doing them in sort of, we did five altcoins that are broken out. We'll be doing that multiple times throughout the week. And you guys can sort of choose which projects is you do or don't want to um, invest in. Because at the end of the day, this is your own journeys. We're just here as a, uh, a, a figure, perhaps in the pantheon of voices that you guys listen to. And hopefully we're showing the worth of why you should listen to this channel. On that note, I'm going to love and leave you. Don't forget to check out that subscribe button. A like and a comment is always appreciated. And I will see each and every one of you in the next YouTube video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you in the next one.